Hi, I'm Pau Jenner and I want to share some early design ideas about the editing review improvements project. So let's imagine that I'm an experienced Wikipedia editor and I just completed one more edit that I'm saving here. But this time I got a new notification and it's congratulating me about my 500th edit, but it also is inviting me to participate in a new activity of reviewing contrib contributions by newcomers and, and helping them, which I think is it's really great because it allows me the opportunity to help newcomers in the way I, I would like uh, have been helped uh, when I started contributing. So I'm interested and I go there. I'm introduced to this new idea of reviewing as a way to help newcomers. I'm presented with the concept of review feed as a, an automatically created list of contributions that I can also customize or define my own. And I'm reminded that uh, I can access these and other activities uh, anytime from the contributions page so that I can every morning, for example, review some contributions. By default, I'm given here three different feeds. And this one, for example, is about helpful good faith edits by newcomers. So this means that there are contributions that are positive, that are made in good faith, uh, according to our automatic algorithm. And they are done by newcomers. So these people may need some encouragement or advice and, and maybe some thanks. So here is the the list of, of contributions. And as, as you see here, those are filtered uh, for being good faith, not damaging, made by newcomers. And I can probably add more filters if I was interested, but this list seems useful as it is so that I can check uh, different contributions and focusing maybe on topics I'm interested in or how, how much sure is the system this is really good faith. In this case, the confidence is two out of three, others is less, or maybe based on how much has been changed, maybe small changes that add content or, or big changes that remove a lot of content. In this case, I, I'll just focus on the first one. And I see that this uh, one line that was added to this Plants in Space article, I'm I'm familiar with this topic, so I think it's it's a, a really good contribution. And I provided here some some tools that allow me to to view the the change, either comparing it uh, with the previous and current state, checking it in, in code, and I can also review it with several actions. And it's important to mention that these actions are, are different depending on the, on the feed. So since this is a, a feed about good faith edits, I have actions at hand, like keeping, keeping it as valid and thanking the user really easy to, to access. But for other feeds that are based on uh, vandalism, I may have other actions at hand, like blocking a user. And this is something that can be configured on a per feed basis. But but we think that having the the right tools for the, the right kind of contributions will make all the all these different processes uh, much fluent and much more effective. So yeah if I go back to to my list I can see that this was reviewed. Uh, other items are in review by other editors so I can pick something that it's not being uh, reviewed by someone else so that we can uh, we can better distribute our efforts. I got also cues on whether the editor is still editing so that I have that in context in case I see some incomplete edit. Uh, knowing that the people are working on it will, will help me to to understand more the context of what they are doing. And yeah, basically I can I can access the 
different different feeds. As I review, I will get some statistics that encourage me to keep uh, the the pace of reviewing that I I consider to myself. It also emphasizes some of the reviewing actions, like the people I thank or the people I'm I'm reverting or I'm engaging in conversation with. And one interesting thing about people is that something some sometimes we want to to contact people that we recently reviewed. So this is what you get at the contributors tab, a quick access to the people you review and an overview of what what's your interaction with with them. In this case, Fama did three edits today and I I reviewed one of them and thanked thank it for one of them, which was the, the one I just reviewed. And I can have quick access, quick access to discuss their contributions with these users. And I can also keep track of, of those users for, for a little while. Here we are experimenting with this idea of lightweight mentoring, where I can keep an eye on the activities of these, these users during just a limited period of time, like 10 days. And the purpose of this is to allow me to, to help the user if I identify that they are getting into uh, an edit that brings them uh, problems and I recommend it uh, and provide the advice on how to improve that, I can check how the user is progressing and I can see that um, the user get one one edit accepted and three reverted, so I can keep an eye and see the progress, which is also helping the user that I'm reviewing, but also encouraging to see that the advice I was giving and, and the help I was giving was was useful to to make the editor a more more prolific editor. Okay, going back to feeds, as 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 we've seen before, there's a one sp special mark which is about the users that explicitly requested help at the time they are making an edit. That's something that we plan to expose to newcomers that or system identify that their edits may get reverted. Since that's a, a really bad experience, we we want to provide them the, the chance to, to ask for, for help. And by clicking here or by just adding another filter, you can focus on, on those. And we expect that those users will be really interested in engaging with reviewers, which will also encourage reviewers to review them with, with extra care and, and attention. Okay, another, another feed that we are exposed here is about problematic good faith edits by newcomers. And this works in a similar way. It just lists uh, a different set of feeds, in this case, good faith, but damaging by newcomers. So something that was not intended to be vandalism, the user did it in good faith, according to our analysis, but it's probably not a, a good contribution to Wikipedia. So here we'll have to, to do more work on educating the users, reverting in a in a considerate way and providing tools for these users to learn from the suboptimal contributions. So we are probably going to have a different set of, of tools when reviewing those. But here what I wanted to, to illustrate is an example where let's imagine that I participate on a, on a wiki project about rock music and I'm interested to create my own feed. So here I can use the filters based on, on this initial feed to, to precisely indicate which kind of contributions I want to focus on. And we can do that by based on tags for quality assessment, the status of the review process, whether those have been patrolled or not yet, which tools have been used, but also based on, on the content, like the categories they are 
the, the articles are in. So in this case, I want to focus on, on rock music. And, and now I have this filter that I, I modify. I can rename it and I can save a, as a new feed. So now when I go back to my list, I have my own newcomers editing on rock music feed that I can focus every day if I'm really interested on, on reviewing for this specific set of, of topics. I can share that with the, with the relevant people interested on the rock music wiki project. And I can also see how many new contributions happen there. I can even through secondary actions configure that to get uh, proactive notifications if there is new activity. Obviously that, that requires uh, to, to filter very, very specifically. Otherwise, there, there is a lot of activity and I may get lots of notifications in consequence. And yeah, basically that's the, the main idea for reviewing feeds. As I mentioned before, one uh, entry point we're exploring is through the, the contributions page, allowing not just to list your contributions as we are doing currently, but also starting new contributions like creating new pages, translating, but also considering reviewing contributions as part of that daily um, editing activities. Um, yeah, thank you.